What's the secret to not having a toilet overflow? The answer is very simple. If a toilet clogs, don't flush again. If the water doesn't go down and then you add more water to it, that's when it overflows. So if there's a clogged toilet and you flush it, you're just gonna add more water and it's gonna go all over the floor. If there's a clog, grab a plunger and unplug it, then flush the toilet after everything's clear. Here's the typical reason why a toilet overflows. Somebody will see a clog, they'll panic, they'll flush again. All the water from the tank will go into the bowl. There'll be way too much water in the bowl at this point, and then everything overflows onto the floor. If there's a clog, don't panic. There's typically a plunger somewhere around. Now this plunger is not designed for a toilet, but it will work. This one's for a sink. A toilet plunger is typically a lot larger. This one's barely big enough, but it does work. Just move the plunger up and down. You'll hear and feel the suction. A smaller plunger like this is typically used for a sink and it'll also work on a shower. In a pinch, it'll work on a toilet as well. Nobody wants to see a clogged toilet, but don't make the mistake by thinking if you flush it again, it'll all go down. Nope, because it won't go down, you'll add more water, it'll all come up. Understanding the problem is half the battle. And if you don't want to use a plunger, just remember, don't flush again, go find somebody. Just let them know that the toilet's clogged. And if they go over to flush it again, just let them know, don't flush it again. It would be a good idea to find somebody else. If it's clogged, double flushing's never a good thing.